class. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good, just another Tuesday. Good morning. Love Tuesdays. <laughs> Tuesdays are the best. Alright, announcements for today. Don't forget to schedule for your final exam. It's running out of time. If you don't get scheduled, you're going to fail the class. Oh. Um, uh, reading quiz 480 was due today, and don't forget about 485 due at the start of class on Tuesday, May 7th. Okay. Lab this week, we're going to have presentations, so don't procrastinate about it, get those done, should be pretty easy. Post lab 69 due 11.59 p.m. Friday, May 3rd. Don't forget about that either. Alright. Questions. The question for today. What can you tell us about Chalice Volcanic Rocks? Very interesting rocks. Here we have a picture that represents this class. We're nearing towards the end, We've gotten over speed bumps, learned what rocks are, coming up here, learning about glaciers. We're near the end, and soon we'll be at that peak, waving our flag. He's right. He's safe, so Sean. Alright. So, the Chalice Volcanic Rocks. What happened for this region of Idaho is that the um, the Farallon Plate, which is an oceanic plate, right here, back like 60, 60 million years ago, it was moving very quickly below the continental North American Plate. Come about 50 million years ago, it starts to slow down, and the uh, it starts moving westwardly, and that is when we have our chalice volcanic calderas. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, so what happens? What happens there? I, I'm going to take you on a little tour. Of journey somewhere you might want to go on your spring break vacation. <laughs> a couple peaks I want to show you that um, they actually make up the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. First one being the Van Horn Peak. Let's see if we can get closer. Here, what we have is a caldera. And about 50 million years ago, this caldera actually exploded and collapsed. And what we had in result is actually two normal faults. After the collapse, made this caldera actually drop from from here to here. So we have another um, couple calderas I want to show you that actually that will make a line of the actual fault zone from northeast to southwest. And that is the Twin Peaks. As you can see, it went from north from northeast to southwest. And that is actually what makes up the fault zone. You're going to want to know that on the test. So here you can 
can see all the light coloring, which is most likely silica granite. Alright, do you, uh, does anyone have any questions about the trans or the chalice? Yes, Debbie. What specific period were the Chalice volcanic rocks formed during? That would be the Eocene period, which is actually, do you all know how many million years ago that is? Was it about 52 to 45 million years ago? Exactly. Bingo! <laughs> Do my homework. She must have read. I did read, Sam. I did read. Now let's talk about the rocks that are found in the chalice region. You okay? um, well, you said that it's silica rich. So, what profitable materials are mined there? Uh, let me just pull up something for you. Talk amongst talk yourselves. Okay. Talk to your neighbors. Um, um, I'll give you 30 seconds. Thank you. 
implementation of that. Geologic time. I don't have much time for this, but I'll give you a 